Yo, yo, Technoblade here with another upload. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We're back. We're playing Bed Wars. Uh, I don't know why I said that in the present tense because I actually recorded these Bed Wars games a few days ago. I have I've played like almost no Bed Wars since the win streak, which was like I don't know years ago. So you know, forgive me if I'm a little rusty. These are literally just the first three games of Bed Wars I played, recorded them, and then threw them in as background footage because you know I like live commentaries a lot, but I feel like sometimes when you have a topic to talk about, ha having to play a video game simultaneously can sort of, it can sort of detract from the commentary, you know? But before that, a plushie commercial filmed on my iPhone. We got the first one, it's Technoblade. He's in a flying pose. He's flying to save some civilians or he's falling flat on his face. Depends on who you ask, all right? We got the, we got Technoblade. He's sitting down, he's, he's seated, he's seated. It's incredibly exciting. Oh, we got, we got Technoblade, but he's, he's a giant, he's a gigantic pillow, it's Techno Pillow. This is actually, this is actually really, this is really soft. You're gonna have to take my word for it. These plushies go on sale on September 3rd at 3 p.m. EST at U2s.com. The last one sold out in around eight hours, so be prepared. Well, I mean, one of them was like two minutes, but eh, well, that's not happening again. So where has Technoblade been? I know I've been gone since, like, June. I was actually being really productive in July, which I know you guys are gonna, you're not gonna believe me when I say that because I made no content, but I was, I was, you gotta believe me, okay? I was getting so much work done. IRL, I was like filling out paperwork, making business moves, working on merchandise, buying new equipment to make new videos because I really wanted I really wanted to increase the rate at which I was making videos because I kind of spent you know I kind of spent like all this time becoming a famous YouTuber and then instantly like stopped uploading which I mean to be fair I guess that started more in like 2018 so that's more just a pattern now but I figured you know th this whole thing where I go to you know one or two months without uploading I, I don't want that to be me man I want to be uploading at least once per week so I spent a lot of time preparing to do that and the plan was that I would start doing that in August but I took uh it it, it didn't it, it's uh it's not going great I'm not going to lie to you so in the last few days of July I noticed that my right arm was starting to hurt a decent amount and I thought my my best guess was that it was some kind of repetitive stress injury because you know I've been playing video games since the age of like five, pretty much non-stop. I was gonna get carpal tunnel at some point, but uh, I took a few days to rest my arm and it really didn't, really didn't feel any better after that. And so after a few days of that, I looked at myself in the mirror and I noticed that my right shoulder was starting to swell like crazy. And I was like, oh my God. I must have broken a bone. This is, I mean, this, it, it looked crazy. So, you know, the next day, August 2nd, I uh, headed over to the doctor to see what was wrong. And uh, they, they ran a couple of scans and then they came back and they told me that uh, the reason my arm hurts is because I have cancer. That really couldn't have gone worse, I don't think. I feel a bit silly talking about this with uh, Minecraft in the background. It feels a bit out of place, but I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. I don't, I, I don't do a face cam, which is, I guess, how most people would talk about serious things with a face cam. Uh, I also probably, uh, <laughs> also probably a bit weird to plug my merchandise in the, in the same video. Like, hey guys, I, I have a, I have a terrible disease. Also buy my plushies, bro. But, uh, <laughs> listen, I've been waiting so many months to sell those plushies, bro. And it keeps getting delayed. And now cancer thinks it can stop me. No, 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 no. I'm trying to make some bank, bro. I want to get paid. Also, they look fantastic. I mean, just look at them. They look incredible. All right. I mean, I, I, I guess it would be ideal to like split up the announcements, but I'm going back into chemotherapy next week. I don't got time for this, man. We gotta go. To be fair, I, I could make this a lot weirder. I, I could have like the thumbnail be a giant red arrow pointed to my tumor with the caption, might die, not clickbait. <laughs> Yeah, just the ultimate, the ultimate YouTuber, bro. We're clickbaiting the whole process. So after the scans come in, I get transferred to another hospital, which has an oncology ward, so it's a lot more specialized towards what I need. And I'm sort of like sitting there in the bed for a couple of days, like, hello, could I please get some health care? Could I, could I just get a, could I just get a crumb of healthcare? Please, like, I, I, I want to see people sprinting, you know, I, I feel like I, I want to see some urgency, you know, if you guys got a, you know, there's like this tumor on my arm, if you guys could just, if you guys could just get rid of it, just, just get rid of it right now. 
We can just go. If you gotta cut off my arm, cut off my arm, bro. Do what you gotta do. I won't complain, man. I've won enough Minecraft tournaments. I'll just play Minecraft with my feet from here on out, bro. I'll still be B-tier, at least, okay? It's fine. Do what you gotta do. But then the doctors are telling me, like, oh, well, we can't. We can't do it immediately. We gotta we gotta find out what it is. We gotta run some tests, do a biopsy. I'm like, okay, do the biopsy. I'm like, oh, well, first we gotta do some scans. I'm like, all right, do the scans. And so it took a couple of days. And then they did the biopsy uh, three days later. And then I was like, all right. Let's go. And they're like, oh, well, the, the biopsy is going to take like a week or more to get back. And I'm just sitting here like, bro, please, please just treat me. I mean, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. I know, I'm sure they know what they're doing, but I'm just sitting there in the hospital like, please, please, healthcare. So they get the biopsy and they send me home and they're saying like, I'll come back in like a week or so when they have a treatment plan prepared. And so I... It was, it was a very fun week at home because I was sitting there still not getting treated and I was just like looking at my tumor like, all right, Mr. Tumor, you know, you, you need me to survive. So it's in your best interest to just to just chill out for a little bit. You know, we, we don't want to go too crazy and faintly, faintly, if you strain your ears underneath my skin, you can hear. Yeah, it was a really fun week, but I did finally get started on chemotherapy, which is a wonderful process. So let me explain chemotherapy. So basically, uh, you know how society has progressed for thousands of years of technological and medical innovation? So basically, one of the top three ways we have to fight cancer is uh, for you to go to the hospital and then they uh, plug you into a machine and then they inject poison directly into your veins for several days. That's, uh, that's one of the best ways we've got of going about this. And uh, the poison, it's, uh, it's supposed to kill the cancer. It uh, also kills things like, you know, blood. But uh, does, does anybody really need blood? I, I feel like that's pretty optional, you know. Uh, <laughs> blood for the blood god, as it were, all right? Uh, I'll take what I can get. Uh, I, you know, I used, to have a, I used to have a channel meme. Because back in the day, you know how my motivation always goes up and down in, like, cycles? I used to have a meme where whenever I'd get super motivated, I'd, you know, I'd start uploading like crazy. And I'd also do things like get a haircut. And so I'd joke that uh, the less hair I had, the more I'd upload because that's the hair was holding me back. And so if that's still true, I got to say chemotherapy, that's got to be daily uploads or something, bro. This is, it's going it, to, the chemotherapy arc is going to be fantastic for content. So, you know, after I got diagnosed, I, uh, I've been making a lot of phone calls, you know, informing all of my distant family members about the situation. And I got to say, of, of all the phone calls I've made, Nobody took the news worse than my health insurance provider. They've been inconsolable for weeks. They were like, you got what? No! I mean, I, I had no idea they cared so much. They've just, oh my god, though, I, I think they're the real victims of this. I mean, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, look at me. I was like a healthy 22-year-old. I like barely went to the doctor or even for like regular appointments. I, I guess I went to the dentist. That's the one thing I did. I was the freest paycheck they've ever seen in their lives. They could have been milking money off of me for decades. And then, bam, cancer, bro. <laughs> oh, those poor guys. Oh, uh, the one the one favor I, I do want to ask. If you, if you guys could all do one small favor for Technoblade. Uh, you know that coronavirus thing you've been hearing in the news for the last couple of years? Uh, I want you guys to get rid of it. Just, uh, I want it gone. Just uh, a couple days should be should be sufficient for you guys to do that. No, but no, but seriously, like I'm, I'm kind of uh, immunocompromised right now, which means uh, if a bacteria touches me or like a virus touches me, I will explode. So yeah, I, I want to get the get the vaccine is is what I'm saying. I'm gonna get canceled by the anti-vaxxers for saying it, but it's such a good vaccine, bro. Pfizer got full FDA approval this week. For people age 16 and up, I think you, you can also get it if you're 11 to 15. With It's got emergency approval or whatever. Uh, I mean, if you have any concerns, don't listen to a Minecraft YouTuber, but please at least talk to a doctor because it's it's so good, bro. 
it's so good. The hospitals are currently getting flooded by unvaccinated people, and I, I'm going to go ahead and speak on behalf of all cancer patients when I say that it is incredibly annoying when the when the hospitals are getting overworked by people dying of preventable diseases. I'm just saying we got dibs on those hospital beds, so you know you you probably you don't even want them really. You you don't even want to need them. So uh, I think the vaccine. What is it? It like reduces the chances of you needing hospitalization from COVID by like 96%. I mean, it's so effective, bro. Come on. I mean, you might still get like, I mean, you could still catch coronavirus, but like the symptoms are going to be so much milder, bro. I'm just saying, think about it. Think about it. Talk to a doctor. I remember when I first went in for chemotherapy, A, I was thrilled because like, yo, healthcare injected into my veins, bro, let's go. But also like the first couple of days were actually pretty chill. I was like, dang, this is easy, bro. And then it kicked in and then it kicked in. My energy levels were zero. They were absolutely nothing. I, it's hard to describe how tired I was. But I think my one example is, so they let me go back home, and after several days of resting, I had a virtual appointment with a doctor, and so they were like, all right, and I, w I was just sitting there like, wait a second, you guys want me to sit upright in a chair for an hour? What is this, the Olympics, bro? I'm going back to bed. What? What? <laughs> what? Let's calm down here. Uh, sitting in a chair? Am I Superman? Like, come on, bro. As you can probably tell, I'm feeling a lot better right now, which is, uh, I think that's part of the process, is uh, you get a little bit of recovery time to, uh, you know, eat a lot of really good food, get the weight back, uh, get ready for the next round. And uh, before we go back for the next round, I'm going to be playing a lot of video games, uh, making some content, seeing if I can get some more videos prepared, because uh, I know people are going to be like, no, Technoblade, you don't need to make videos for us, please rest. Now, this isn't about you, bro. This is about me. I enjoy this, man. This is like one of the safest and most fun things I could be doing right now, bro. I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't know how much how much content I can make, because I'm kind of slow, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I already have a video prepared for next week, uh, September 3rd. Uh, you guys are going to love it. It's, uh, it was actually, it's kind of, kind of an old video. It was, uh, from a few months ago, but it's very good. So yeah, you guys have that to look forward to. And for the record, I know I've been complaining a lot in this video, but I just want to clarify that the doctors I have are, like, insanely good, bro. I'm going to be getting some of the finest healthcare in the world, so don't worry about me too much. I think the treatment has already started to show some results. I mean, it, it's, it's been so short of a time, so the results aren't going to be insane or anything, but at the very least, the speedrun music has stopped playing. So yeah, that's where I've been, and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future. Wish me luck, and uh, wear a mask, I guess, you know, standard uh, coronavirus procedures. Uh, all, all that coronavirus stuff and, like, getting vaccinated, that goes double for Californians, okay? But it helps everywhere. Uh, that's all I've got for today. See you guys next time.